Hey everyone, I'm back. Um, I should so not be in this room, but I am <laughs> because I couldn't keep my hands off this Maggie Holmes um, sweet storyline and I wanted to show you the album I created. It's super simple. I tried to make it sort, short and sweet because, you know, I can't be in here too long, but it's really sweet and easy to do. So as you can see, I created this um, front glittery shaker cover and then here I have, here, let me just back this up. Um, here I have this page here, which is, you know, a little tag. And I made a little like door pocket right here. And I didn't have double sided. So all this I kind of did um, on my own. I So if you have double sided, it's better. But if you don't, I will give you the measurements and show you how I created this to make it, you know, look double-sided and then here I have another pocket and I made these like little um, like flaps uh, pages so I have one here and I have one right here and then I made this little pocket with another pocket so I have a little pocket right in here and then I added another little pocket here and this one's really easy to do and then I have this, this is just kind of an add-on. I took it, so if you wanna add pictures on your album or like goodies inside right here, that's just a fun idea. And then this last page, this is actually a shaker pocket. So I had sewed this um, pocket onto the last page and just inserted that. So it's short and sweet, but you can imagine, you can just run with ideas um, using some of the methods that I used. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, we're gonna start with the cover and um, this little front page here. So you're going to, the best thing to use for this is a six by eight paper pad, because we're gonna be doing lots of six by eight and um, four, by, four by six cuts. So the first page is going to be four by six and you're gonna score it at half an inch at the four inch mark. So I'm using All Hearts Today by Crate Paper because it was just one of those pads that I kind of had to have. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that at the four inch mark and I'm scoring it a half an inch. And now I'm going to take a four by six water sleeve, as you can see here. And I'm gonna fill it and sew it on. And you know, if you don't have a sewing machine, the alternative is always just seal it and tape it on so what i like to do is the very edge what i'm gonna do is like right on the edge and this is overlapping so i had sewed so sew and cut around the overlapping i'm not gonna do it just to speed it up but that is what i did with um this page as you could see so i did trim it down a little bit so let me run through this through my sewing machine real quick. Just try to make sure it's even. Just give me one second. Okay, now I wanna show you guys. So, do you see how it really overlaps? So I'm taking this um, right here and I'm gonna go ahead and sew it right here and cut this off when I'm done. I was gonna not leave it, but it's actually too excess. So let me go ahead and do that. So as you can see, I um, sewed that, so now I'm just gonna cut that part off.
okay? So right there is my um, cover. And then you have this flap, so let's go ahead and fold that down. And that's gonna be our front page. Okay, so the next page, pretty easy, right? So this page right here, this is gonna be six by eight. Ah, I want this to stand, but I forgot this is kind of a shaker thing. Okay, so six by eight paper is gonna be our next page. At the eight inch mark, we're gonna score it a half an inch and six inch. So let me just pick a paper real quick. Okay, so half an inch. Oops, oh, that is so crooked. Why does that look so crooked? Okay, that may be a little crooked in my album. Okay, so half an inch and six inch. Okay, so this is going to create our pocket piece. So this is the part that we're gonna be connecting in the page. So this is gonna be put back. Now we're gonna do the lid. So the lid is going to be four by six. And at the four inch mark, we're gonna score it a half an inch. So get a four by six paper. I'm gonna pick that out. It's just gonna be four by six. So just have a bunch of like four by six and six by eight papers ready. Okay, and then we're gonna score at the four inch mark, just score half an inch. This is just gonna be our little lid. Basically, we're just doing a little flap to close it. So as you can see, we're gonna just glue that on right there. So it's gonna look like that. Oops, right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on. I literally just undid this, but it clogged up on me. Let me just get this glue out. Okay, make sure this flap is folded back because that's what we're gonna attach to the next page. And just go ahead and glue this on there. Oh, why is that so crooked? Oh, because it's not on, okay. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. And then at this point, you wanna go ahead and make your little brads. So I'm going to take some paper. And these are just little half inch circles, if you can see that. And grab your hole punch and make your little brads. If you don't um, have these pieces, you can just alter it, make like Velcro, stickers, magnets, whatever you can come up with. I'm just gonna eyeball this. Okay, and I'm also gonna glue the sides on for the pocket. Now, if you want, you can just leave it as a flap, but because I want a pocket, I'm gonna glue that on. I should have put my brad on first, but I'm just gonna 
eyeball this right here. Okay, actually, I'm just going to pull this apart for a minute. I can add my brad. Okay, and then you just grab your string, which I do not have on my desk, so I'm just going to skip that real quick. And what I did is I glued the cover to that first top piece right here. So actually, you can tape this or glue it. I actually, for an album, use tape because it's a little bit more, um, I think it's just more flexible with it, but I'm just going to use glue right now. So you can already see that first page coming along, okay? That's probably the most complex part. Okay, so next. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and flip this. And this is the part where I added my um, back cover. Okay, so pick a six by eight paper for the back. And you're going to score it at the half inch mark at the eight inch side. So you're gonna need six by eight. Okay. Oh wait, oops, sorry about this. Okay, this is, okay, so ignore that, I'm so sorry. And I don't wanna do this all over again. Make this paper 7.5 by six. I'm sorry, I messed up because the last page that I had originally was this score, but um, I took it off because I didn't need that flap. So you want this to just be seven, 0.5 by 6. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. I feel so sorry for anyone who probably um, may not understand this in English and are probably wondering what I'm doing. But I hope you guys are forgiving me. So this is going to be the um, back page right here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue that part down. I would have probably done this video over just because of that, but right now I just can't be in here. So let me, oh my goodness, look at how off I am, you guys. It's like I haven't done a tutorial in a week and I'm a mess. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna be the back, okay? But now we're gonna go ahead and do this little pocket right here. So this little pocket is just a, four by six paper. Oh, you guys can't see. It's just gonna be a, this pocket right here. This is just gonna be four by six. Usually I have my papers cut out, but I did not cut it out before this tutorial. So I'm just doing it as I go along. Let me grab my large hole punch because I forgot that. And I'm just going to go ahead and punch it um, with my two inch punch. Right here. I'm going to add that right there. And just glue your sides. Okay, so that's that side right there. So now we're just gonna do these two flaps. These two flaps right here are only, um, they are 
four by sixes. So these right here are gonna be four by six and you're gonna do a half inch score at the four inch mark. Get. So I'm going to do two of them. So it's going to be two, one and two. And just score it a half an inch. Both of them at half an inch. Okay, so right here, just glue it. I'm gonna do the top one. So right there. And now the second one, I'm gonna fold this one in the front. And then I'm gonna put the second layer down. And again, I would use tape, but okay. So then you have that page and then you have this page. And this pocket is super easy. We're gonna take a six by eight paper Okay, and we're gonna score it at the eight inch side. We're gonna score it at half an inch. So I'm gonna use six by eight. I don't ever think I'm gonna cut as I go along again. I feel like it's so disorganized and I'm so disheveled. I hope this is clear for you guys because I feel so disheveled right now as I'm going along. Okay. So, six by eight paper at the eight inch mark, score it at half an inch. That's just gonna be our little flap. And all I did was fold this up to that line, and this is my pocket. And I sewed this. You can tape it, um, glue it, however you wanna do it, and that, totally arrived. <laughs> um, and then let me make my little punch for my top. And I guess I'm going to glue it for now just because it's quicker. But I feel like sewing gives you a little bit more room. So if you sew it, just sew it right where I'm gluing it. Okay. And then we're just going to glue this down right here. I tried to make this pocket as easy as possible. So the album always looks crazy complex, but it's always so, so easy. So let's just flip through real quick. So we've got the cover and then we have our little window page with the um, thread missing right now and that's our pocket and then you have this which is your other pocket then you have your two flaps and then your other pocket and the last page all I did was add my um, waterfall sleeve thing and all I did was sew it on here so I'll go ahead and finish this off for you guys before I make another blooper. Ooh, just made a mess. So yeah, I'm just taking another waterfall sleeve, another four by six, just wanted to show those who, and I'm going to sew this through. And that looks a little long again. So I did trim this, I'm gonna trim it just eyeball it right now.
All right, let me just sew this on real quick. pocket is so crooked right now you guys if you made it this far in the video I'm so sorry I totally did this crooked because I'm on camera, as you can see right there. So that's gonna be my pocket and I have to sew that, but I'm just gonna leave it because I want you guys to see the flip through just because it's torture. So again, this is gonna be the cover. And this right here is another four by six. So if you wanna cover it so it's not showing this, um, four by six score a half an inch. Okay, and our little doors with our pocket, our other pocket, and then our flips. And then just here, you just wanna add, you know, any little um, card stock and you can make your little pocket there for right here. And then that, and then your pocket. And I'm so sorry, I get like really, um, disorganized when I have to sew because I'm already not the best sewer. So um, yeah, I don't really like to do it live because I always have problems with my sewing machine. So I'm so sorry about that blooper, but I hope you guys like this tutorial. It really is beautiful. And um, if I could take my time, I could probably make it like a thousand times more prettier. Um, but just doing a really quick tutorial with you guys. I wanted to get it up because I really wanted to post this and um, I know you guys are going to want a tutorial on it. So here you go. Thank you, you guys.